Hello. Today is something a little bit out of the norm. We're going to be replacing a side mirror on a Toyota 4Runner. This one was hit. Uh, the owner bought a, an entire replacement mirror assembly. So we're going to pull the old one off, put the new one on, let you guys see what it's like and how easy this can be. Okay, so here's how it works. First, you've got to get your door open, clearly. And then you're going to pop this panel off just by pulling it from the side and pulling out, just like that. Pull it from the side, and you've got these tabs underneath. They're just going to pull right out. So you're going to set this aside. Next, what we do, have to do is pull this door panel off. You might think that you can do it without pulling the door panel off. However, there is a wire that runs here down the back side of the door that you're going to need to get to. The mirror itself is held on by these three uh, nuts right here. So to get this door panel off, it's pretty simple. You're going to pop this little cover off here. There's a cover off behind the door handle and there's another one underneath here. Uh, so let's do that now. All right, so we're going to start up at the top here. I'm just going to use a squiggly uh, craftsman. I don't know what this is called. This is called. It's kind of like a panel popper. I'm going to just go underneath of it, go to the side. I twisted a little bit and it came right out. I'm pretty sure that you could do the same thing and access it with a screwdriver. But if you have something that's got a little bit of a bend to it and it can get into that area, it works really well. So I did that here. I'm going to do that with this piece here on inside of the door. It comes right out. Might have to work on that one a little bit to get it out, of, out from behind here. There we go. I'm going to set this aside. And then we're going to work on the one under here. Okay, so the one here should be much the same. We're going to try from the top. Hey, just pulls right on down. Look how easy that was. Now I know that one's out. I could try to get it out, fish it out, but I know it's loose. So I'm going to just let, let it stay. So same thing with the top here. Screwdriver in. And that one's out. That one kind of popped out. I'll go ahead and grab that one. And this one's definitely going to fall out here. So grab this one. I'm just using my finger to grab the head of it. Same thing with this one here. Pop that out. So at this point, to get the door panel off, what we're going to want to do is pop, pull out from the edges. There's going to be pop uh, rivets, just like what we saw here. So we're going to start by just pulling around the edges. You're going to hear it and feel it pop. Just apply a little bit of pressure. There we go. And around. You'll feel them and hear them. And maybe one more here. Okay. So now we should be able to grab it by the handle and lift up, assuming that all of the uh, pop rivets are off. Yeah, we should be able to lift this panel up, back side first, slide it up and out. You're going to see a little clip behind the door, door panel. It's gonna look like this. There it is. That's all you gotta do. Disconnect that one. And then on the front door here, the wiring is connected to another plastic uh, popper or yeah popper and in my case I'm just deciding to go ahead and peel this tape off just like that all right now I think we can go ahead and loosen these nuts which look like tens uh, we'll find out so the replacement nuts that came with this were 10 mil so <laughs> let's see it is a 10 mil all right, so we'll go ahead and loosen these up. Just crack them loose. There we go. The mirror you can see is kind of wiggly at this point. So uh, I'm gonna keep the top one um, tighter than the bottoms until I can get these bottom nuts out. There's one, two, I'm going to reuse the factory nuts. I think I don't see any reason why not to. Okay. So now at this point, the mirror should pop off. There's a little tab that you push down 
to allow it to escape from the side and out the corner. Okay, we've got our original side view mirror out and our replacement side view mirror. Uh, this one happens to be an aftermarket and just because it's aftermarket, I wanna take a quick little uh, minute to kind of go over some of the differences that I see. From the outside, they should both be pretty much identical. Uh, but on the inside, you will see some differences in terms of the cleanliness of the wiring. What you're looking at here is the factory Toyota mirror. And as we move up, this is the aftermarket one made by Polyway. You can see that the wires aren't quite as neatly tucked away as the OEM one. These are just kind of floating around. Shouldn't really make that much of a difference, if any. You can see the connectors on the mirror on the inside are just kind of, uh, looks like they are um, just connected on with two individual pieces, whereas the OEM piece has an actual like clip-in style connector. Um, beyond that, very, very similar pieces. The side indicators are, for the most part, identical. Maybe the, the stampings on them are definitely different between the two. So if a dealer looks, or if you're a savvy buyer, you could see if the mirrors were replaced by looking at it. The other thing I noticed is that with the factory one, you've got this little piece right here by my finger. That helps attach the weather stripping around the door to the mirror. And I noticed that the replacement aftermarket piece does not. It does have a hole down there. Um, <clears throat> It doesn't come with the mirror. Maybe it's not supposed to come with the mirror. So maybe we have to transfer this, this over. In any case, let's get back to the job. And we'll just start by running the wire through the back and we will line up the, line up the, uh, the studs and put them through. I am reusing the original nuts. So with this in place, I'm going to go ahead and get a jump on reattaching the, uh, the wire and wrapping the tape back around. Okay, so here's the fun part that they don't tell you. Uh, when you disconnect the door panel, you're going to have some of these poppers. These are what actually connect to the back side of the door panel. They just pop in and out of these locations here. And when you pull the panel off, uh, lots of times they want to get stuck and stay in. So I want to do this the right way. And if you push the door panel back on without moving these out first and reconnecting them to the door panel, then the door panel is not going to sit flush with the side of the door. So I went ahead and took the door panel off entirely. I just had to pop out these two pieces for the door handle themselves. These, the green, and the white piece here, they sit in, you push them out, and then the ball on the ends there, those disconnect. Uh, there's a simple connector for the front where the, I guess, I don't know if it's a speaker or what it is up there. And then there's another speaker at the bottom. This pops out easily also. So I think it's best just to do that. Uh, I'm gonna pull each of these out and then transfer them back to the door panel. And now we'll put the door panel back on. Okay, so popping these little tabs off can be a pain. So I'm gonna show you what I do. I've got two flathead screwdrivers. I'm gonna take a cloth. I'm gonna take that cloth and put it on the outside. And I'm gonna put one head of the screwdriver on one side and one head screwdriver on the other. And this gives me uh, basically a mimic, a makeshift panel popper piece. So then with those two in place, I'm just gonna pull back with leverage against part of the body. So at the same time, bam. And out it comes. And there we go. Installation is going to be reverse of, uh, you know, removal. So first thing I'm going to do is I did take that little clip off the mirror, the original. I'm going to stick it through the square hole here for the weather stripping. And I'm going to connect it to the back side of the mirror to keep it on there tight. I'm going to go ahead and take the remaining nuts start threading them on here. Now I'll go ahead and grab my socket, tighten this one down. We're just gonna get it snug. Snug, there we go. At this point, it would be a good idea just to try using the mirror to make sure that it all works as it should. So I'm gonna go around and push the buttons and make sure it works. 
All right, so now to put the door panel back on, we gotta start at the top and you wanna get the weather stripping on the top piece of the door tucked under. So you push it against the door and then set the back piece in place like that. With the door piece in place, we're gonna go ahead and reattach our screws to hold the door on tight. One here, one down here, one up at the top. Push that back up, push this clip back up. And then finally, we'll go ahead and put this piece back in there and you'll hear it clip. There we go. So now we want to go around the door and just push pressure on where those pop pieces are. You're going to hear them click. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I guess that's it. Yeah. There we go. And then finally, we will reconnect our cover trim, which just goes right in place, right like that. So we'll go ahead and close the door, see how it fits. And the very last step will be to put the cover over top of the back of the mirror. All right, so we've got the mirror on. It looks flush around there. Nice and tight, sturdy, not moving anywhere. We've got our cover. Uh, the cover comes in this factory black ABS plastic finish. Uh, you could throw it on a black car like this, and if the car's dirty a lot, it probably will blend in fairly well. Um, I'm gonna recommend that the owner go ahead and get this painted to match the black. Uh, you know, you'll need to either try yourself or recommended would be take it to a professional and have them paint it. Otherwise, you've got these clips and it should just snap right into place. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that they all line up around the edges. And probably, look at that, easier said than done, right? There we go. It's in, there's our replacement mirror.